My bench three point shooting. What role that's going to be able to play in this team success? Uh, I'm just going to continue to shoot uh, my open looks and try to make as many as I can get. I got a little bit more against Ole Miss. Uh, simply because um, I was making a little bit more. So um, as I continue to improve my, my percentages in the game, I think uh, coach will try to uh, find me more and I'll be able to help the team a little bit more. When you guys start to, to look at slow starts, do you put your finger on anything? Or has it just been <coughs> just a myriad of different things since our game? Um, it just may be uh, just like a lack of focus in the beginning of the games. Uh, we, we have to lo lo do a little bit better as far as executing our game plan in the beginning. And, uh, you know, so far we just have to just play a little bit better in the beginning. I don't think it's specifically any one thing or any one player, but it's just like overall as a team, we have to be more locked in to the game plan. Anthony, heading into this game with Kentucky on Saturday, you're coming off a huge double OT game against Ole Miss. What did you learn from that game and hoping to kind of set that going into Kentucky on Friday? Uh, we learned that we need to start the games off better. Um, <clears throat> We learned that we need to shoot the ball a little bit better and uh, play, uh, make our teammates a little bit better as far as getting more assists. And a game like that kind of just uh, shows us the type of locker room we have. We showed that we stay together even after halftime when we could have easily folded. So I think our, our guys have a lot more trust in each other after that win. And overall, we just um, we just need to uh, just play better basketball to, uh, to keep beating, beating better teams. What do you think has been the issue at guard with, you mentioned, trying to get more assists at the guard play? And I don't think it's specifically guard play. I think overall as a team, we uh, we just find each other more because uh, you know, like I have the ball, uh, Austin has the ball. We all have the ball just pr pretty much as much as the guards do. So we we got complete confidence in Javon that you know he'll continue to find his teammates and continue to make plays offensively. It's just that. Um, Overall, we just got to do a little bit more drive, draw dishes, and passing it to open guys so we can get better looks at the rim. This Kentucky game, you feel like the circus has been in a lot of them. Like, what would you tell a guy like Isaac or, or Devin in that first one? Um, just don't don't uh, give in to the pressure of the moment. Uh, uh, when we played them in the Elite Eight, uh, we had a lot. We had a, we had a different mindset going in than we did when we went to that place. We kind of felt like we were on a roll when we went to Kentucky, and but in, um, when we played in the Elite Eight, we just came to play basketball and play good basketball and win. So as long as nobody focuses on the lights or the ESPN coming in or anything like that, we just play our brand of basketball. I don't think we have a problem as far as executing our game plan. That, that last last season, the run you guys made, how much does that help with, with this situation that you guys have played in, in Final Four and the biggest stage in some people? I actually don't think it helps much because it's a brand new team and we have a brand new uh, program, like atmosphere around the program. So it's nice that uh, like the seniors have that experience, but going there, we, we have to – you know, sort of start from scratch and be able to do it all over again. So just being able to have the freshmen uh, uh, on the team now, we just have to just coach them up for, the, for that big moment because we know they're going to be really talented, really fast, and play really well. So we just got to be able to uh, to play up to their level. Anthony, Coach Phil talked about after the game, possibly mixing up the starting lineup. Are you ready to step in as, and be a starter over the guys tonight? I think I think a lot of our players are interchangeable, whether it's me or Austin, whether it's me or Dangel or any other guys. You know, it's uh, we play about the same minutes anyway. So whether who's out there uh, uh, when the tip happens, you know, it's not really much of a difference to me. Off the game, also the Atwood game. What does it mean to you to be a part of this type of organization like that? Uh, it's awesome. Coach Pro has been, um, you know, doing the outlet for many years since he was at basically since he was at Tennessee. It was called something else then. And uh, I had an uncle die last year of prostate cancer, so just having him being so vocal and so active about uh, cancer awareness, it just means a lot to me as a player of his to show just what caliber of a man he is. And being able to use like the platform of basketball to, um, to just broadcast, it just means so much to be able to have that ability. Have you all uh, talked about it as a team about the, the slow starts you've had, especially three-point shooting? And have you seen anything that you all can do better there or anything stand out? Mm, we haven't really talked much about it as a team, but I think uh, if, if, if I was to make a suggestion to the guys, it'd just be to, to lock in better in the morning shoot around. A lot of times we wake up before the games, whether it's home or away, and just, uh, you know, we shoot free throws, we shoot shots. So, I don't know, just make sure we get more game shots in during shoot around. But w whatever the case is, I think, I think, I think we'll get it on, um, under control, but we just got to gotta, gotta do it sometime soon. Are we good? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.